COVID-19 in Assam rises. Total cases rise to 59. Fierce storm hits Dolomara on Friday. Minor boy killed. KPLT says fire group cadres fills potholes along Dipu Manja Highway. Good morning and welcome to Karbiangon Life. I'm Julie Hansapi bringing you news in detail. Another six more persons were tested positive for COVID-19 in Assam on Friday, taking the tally to 59. Here is a report. The latest patients include five passengers of the bus, which arrived in Silchar on Wednesday from Ajmer and another female student of Regional Dental College, Kamrup Metro. Of the total 45 passengers traveling in the bus from Ajmer, eight have tested positive for the virus, including a nine-year-old child. All the passengers have been quarantined and tests are being conducted on them. As per the information by Health Minister Dr. Himanta Biswasarma, the numbers of cases may rise, as results of many tests are still awaited. He also said that the viral load in one of the positive patients was found very high, which might be the reason for infection of so many passengers. The Kachar District Administration has declared several areas in Silchar as containment zones. The total number of active cases in the state now stands at 24. Meanwhile, the number of COVID-19 cases in India has risen to 59,765, out of which 1,986 have been reported dead. News Text Report, Karbiangong Live. Tragedy struck a family of Sarbekro village under Dolomara police station as a minor boy was killed during a fierce storm which hit the area on Friday. Here is a detailed report from our Dolomara correspondent. The tragedy took place when a fierce storm accompanied by rain and hailstones hit Dolomara area on Friday at around 2 p.m. The boy was most likely killed when an incomplete wall collapsed that struck the minor boy identified as Yubson Crow. According to the victim's father, the dead body of his son was found after a 10-hour search by villagers, after he reportedly went missing during the storm. <laughs> His body was recovered on Friday night at around 9.30 p.m. by the villagers. He was found dead inside an under-construction house. The victim was only 8 years old and was a student of Class 5 at Sarbekro LP School. Local VDC chairman on hearing the news visited the grieving family and extended his condolences. On request from relatives and family members, the VDC chairman assured to seek all possible help from the Karbianglong Autonomous Council. RG Sonrongpar from Dolomara, Karbianglong Live. Around 36 members of the village employed in various departments under the State and Karbianglong Autonomous Council today distributed essential food items to support affected families of their own village here on Saturday. The essential food items were purchased through money collected from contribution of these 36 employees and were distributed at Longri LP School premise to families of Rongjangpong Model Village. According to village elders, the food items were provided to families whose members are not employed and needed support as the lockdown has completed more than 40 days. During the day, 30 kilograms of rice, 1 kg dal, mustard oil, salt, soap and a facial mask were provided to the affected families. It may be mentioned that there are about 110 households in Rongjangpong model village and the effort of 36 employees have been highly appreciated by families who received the assistance. News Text Report, Karbianglong Live Underground group Karbi People's Liberation Tiger, which is currently in ceasefire with the government, carried out road maintenance work along the Dipu Manja Highway on Saturday. The KPLT group, which is currently pursuing peace process with the government today, carried out the maintenance work along the National Highway 329 between Dipu and Manja. 
The road maintenance work was carried out after obtaining permission from Karbianglong SP Debojit during. Over 40 KPLT men took part in the work during which they filled up major potholes along the highway with sand gravel stone as part of its effort to minimize life-threatening risks posed by the severe damages that the highway had suffered due to its poor quality work. The potholes filling work was carried out at the initiative of KPLT Public Relations Officer Singhasan Hanse. That the two headquarters pass mail keep it to campaign. This is a campaign a little that manja up to a one in a product to work in a take long lap for the Sulan Duka Chila, a sub walk is soon. Kidoko Majoni, Sinilitum, that campaign stame, a rather palmate little that to work Masapso, a puncture a sanitum that headquarters keep it to campaign a little puncture point. It may be mentioned that the potholes filling work was carried out by group cadres of the KPLT camp based at 5th mile area. Roshan Hansi for Karbiangong Live. And that's all we have for this morning. Thanks for being with us and keep watching Karbiangong Live.